Howdy folks, this is N2VQM, Carl, with uh, Mark, WA4KFZ. And Howdy. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to connect up and uh, configure the uh, DV dongle. And uh, here's a picture right here. And that's what it looks like hooked up. So that is the DV dongle. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to connect it up to the, uh, the Windows machine. And you should see this message right here. And now what it's going to do is it's going to go out and find the drivers. So we're going to tell it, yes, this time only. And install the software automatically. And now we click Finish. And it's going to do this several times. So now it told us the hardware is installed and ready to use. And now what we need to do is go and grab the DV dongle uh, software. So I'm going to go to google.com and I'm going to search for DV dongle. And it should be right here, right at the very top. And there you see another picture of this fine and outstanding device. And we're going to go to installation. And this will show you exactly what to do on Windows, what we've shown you so far, which is uh, very helpful and very well done. And what we're looking for is step eight here, download the DV tool. So we're going to download that. We're going to tell it to open it. And it opens up the zip file. You might have something else like WinZip. Just take this little tool here and drag it off to your desktop. Close that up. Now we're going to double click on this, and there's a little jar file here, and that's a, a Java executable. And if you do not have Java installed on your Windows box, just go to www.java.com and you'll see that you can get a free Java download. So we'll agree and use a license agreement, read it, know it, understand it, and Abide by it. So we're going to click run. Run again. And what this is going to do is install the Java runtime for us. You might actually have Java already installed, so I'm not going to install the Ask toolbar. And this is the fun part. Well, I don't think I wound this Windows machine earlier than that. <laughs> For those not aware, Carl is disparaging of anything created by Microsoft. Well, not anything. The nice thing about the DV dongle is that it is Java based, which will run on multiple platforms. Yes, it'll run on, on Windows or uh, Linux or Mac OS. So, at this point, we've successfully installed Java, and we're going to click Close. And with that, we should be able to get back here and double-click on this DV tool jar file. And you'll notice that here we have the DV dongle software window. Now, it started up this time because now we've got Java installed. And it'll show here the DV device in this in this case, it's COM3. On your system, it may be different. It could be COM4, it could be COM5. But we're going to tell it to open that. We give it a moment. And now the audio output, we did some experimentation earlier. And what we found is that if you don't select the Java Sound Audio Engine, you may or may not hear audio. So if, if you don't hear audio, Make sure that the Java Sound audio engine is checked, and at that point you should hear it. Now down here at the bottom, um, we want to connect to a gateway, and we're going to put in a call sign. I'm going to put in my call sign, and I don't think that we need a pin. And at this point, 
I think that we click start here. And yeah, I put in my call sign, I click start, and now, gosh, this is very strange. Maybe I have to put it in my home. Audio loop back only, maybe? Okay, let's check. I did hear something. Okay. And the audio loop back. And the DB dongle is, is flashing, as you see here. And now, we're going to see if we can connect to a gateway. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be giving us any options. We just had this working. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We close it. And restart it. There's COM3. We'll tell it to open. Ah, yeah, now we have the gateways in there. Let me dial up 025 Charlie. Promote system link. There we go. So I've got 025 Charlie on my 91 AD. And N2 VQM clear. Disconnect from Zero uh, 01. We'll go to 025 Charlie. And we'll start up. Now, no one appears to be there. N2 VQM testing. N2 VQM testing. There it is, you can hear it. Audio is a little bit low though. So let's see what we can do about that. There we go. We could hear it. Test check, test check. N2 VQM. And there you have it. So there we have the uh, successful operation of the DV dongle. And I do hear of people talking about bit error rate and stuff along those lines with this software, but I don't see any information here that would uh, lead us to believe where that option may be. So. This is the first installment of how to use the uh, DB dongle, and as more information comes available, um, we shall follow up with more videos and information about it. One of the things that we're curious about, though, is this remote host. Hmm. And this connect to peer. Hmm. I wonder what those features might do. Well, catch you next time. This is N2VQM and Mark WA4K of Zed.